Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit and it is for the MLW World Heavyweight Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger, original. professional wrestling and that continues here. Ross Von Erich told me earlier he's dedicating this world title fight to his brother Marshall who was injured last week. We still don't know who did it. Could have been Contra, could have been Dynasty, could have been anyone. So Ross fighting not only for his future but for his brother and his family's next chapter in this world title matchup. What a matchup it's going to be. Absolutely. Ross Von Erich has an opportunity to leave a double champion here on Thanksgiving night. And what a feast it would be at the Von Eric table if he's able to bring home the MLW World Heavyweight Championship. Coming from Ross Von Erich, he oh, is yeah. focused. This might be the biggest match in his career. I think that's a safe bet. Thanksgiving night, the MLW World Heavyweight Championship on the line, and you know Kevin Von Erich is watching at home. Oh, for sure. Along with Marshall, who you know was supposed to be in this matchup. Here we go. Trying to bring his. Oh, oh, well, okay, okay, <laughs> oh, wow, it's getting heated. Well, I was going to say, Kevin, you know, he's tried to, to bring his sons and teach them the right way to compete with pride, with, with heart, dignity, with, with honor. Contra unit, the exact opposite. Yeah, every underhanded shady trick in the book. They will not think twice to use it. Look at the look on Ross's face. 
He was immediately pushed into the corner. Fought to outweighing Ross Von Erich by about 80 pounds here. Nice that's, no, no, go ahead. That's not just like some, that's, look at oh, that. Oh, God. That's from a collar and elbow tie-up. He just flung Ross Von Erich around like a child. And if I were Ross Von Erich, I would reevaluate my game plan here. It would be wise not to lock up with Fatu again. Well, if there's anybody that Ross could have at ringside there you go. tonight, not, not many better than the former world champion Tom Long. Very true. Tom, Tom lost the title to Jacob Fatu. Oh my God, the leapfrog from the 300 pounder. Oh. Drop kick from Ross, able to take down the champion. Hip toss, Ross lands on his feet, ducks the clothesline. Off the road. Oh my God! And a huge right hand. Filthy Tom trying to give some instruction to Ross Von Erich. If there's anybody that knows how dangerous Fatu is, it is the man at ringside wearing the Von Erich t-shirt in Filthy Tom. So it's nice to see Tom Lawler supporting the, the challenger here, but I mean, he can yell whatever he wants right now, but the way this is going, Fatu oozing confidence. The Samoan smashing machine. Oh! Nobody home for that senton. Stick and move. That's Ross. how Ross is going to be successful. I agree. And it's working so far. Jacob Fatu hit that turnbuckle in a bad way, a somersault. Senton in the cover can barely even hook that far leg and a kick out at two. It's like a big tree trunk. Yeah, absolutely. That kick out came easily to Jacob Fox, too. Ross is trying to get his wits about him. He, kind of a variation of the corner cannonball, more of a, a senton. Ross is just like, oh, look out. Semi, semi well, is off to his right. Yeah, he is. And look at the look on his face. Like, trying oh. to play it off like, oh, no, me? What would I do? Perish the thought. That, uh, Ross could be out cold right here. That kick stunned him. Yeah, Fatu got all of it. Oh, my God! God, in that right hand. Those teeth just jammed together. Yeah, rattling inside his skull. The falling headbutt from the Samoan. Not once, but twice. Oh, the concussions, that type of thing happens when your teeth jam up against each other, when the jaw connects and uh, that's clearly what happened oh, oh god to ross hope he's okay because uh fatu is trying to take his measure yeah he is and pick him apart maybe to, maybe to prove a point well, but there's always a point to prove when you're a part of contra you want to strike fear in the hearts of your opponents physically dissect in a merciless way and that's exactly what's happening to Ross Von Erich right now. Not quite the piece by piece that uh, the Von Erichs were hoping for on Thanksgiving. Not at all. Excuse the pun. Appropriate nonetheless. World title is on the line in this matchup. Ross Von Erich is the challenger, the champion. Oh, oh my God. Is and another devastating headbutt. Jacob fought to yeah. put everything, all 300 pounds, of his massive frame, and, and Samuel, Samuel, of course, on the outside. Oh my now God! He, is he biting him? Yeah, he is. Biting him on the wrist. Taking a chunk out of the challenger, and again, Samuel, look at Samuel with, with that loaded boot. Yeah, right into the jaw of Ross von Erich. How do you even? When you step into a match like this, especially against any one of the members of Contra Unit, you have to know going into it, it's going to be a numbers game. It's just a matter of time. Oh. It's just a matter of time until you're fighting off one, two, three, or even more members of Contra. Filthy Tom with a look of concern on his face. On the other side of the ring, and you know he's keeping an eye on on Samael. It hasn't stopped Samael from getting involved yeah. at times here, but I'd like to think that at least Tom's presence is maybe, oh, it's maybe slow down Samael's advances or sure. attacks. or At least kept him in check. That's what I'm saying, yeah. 
And there's a nerve hold. Imagine somebody the size of Jacob Fatu, all 300 plus pounds, how powerful he is, driving both of his thumbs right. into your shoulder nerve. Yeah. You ever get a real deep massage? You know what that feels like, right? Now imagine, imagine that. Yeah, it's hey, not for your benefit either. That, that's like Samuel spike in your shoulder. Whoa! And that elbow almost decapitating Ross Von Eric. And now Fatu jaw jacking with the crowd. Samuel loves it. He's gonna be oh, smile on his face. Yeah, there was that the, the gentleman in the crowd that yelled at him earlier in the match or when the match started. Right back to that nerve hold. Fatu, 300 pounds, moves like a cruiserweight. He's as dangerous in the air as he is on the ground. So hard to predict his offense. He can come at you at any angle at any time. Really wrenching him on that nerve hole too, forcing Ross back down to the canvas. Fatu is dangerous when he's sleeping. Yeah. When he, he takes a breath, there's danger in that. Right. To you or me or anybody else. Right. It's almost like by proxy, he can, he can do some damage. Absolutely. The fact that Contra has found a way to harness that weapon is absolutely alarming. That crossbody caught. Oh! Sit out power bomb. One, two, and a kick out at two. And look at the look on Fatu's face, perhaps a little bit of frustration, but immediately turning to Mouse. Fatu had a little bit of trouble at first catching Ross, but what a transition. Whipping him almost into like a gut wrench power bomb. Yep. With the sit out. Scary strength as Ross yeah. ducks a close. Oh line. my god! Both competitors with the same idea across body. I would think that Ross would have taken the front of that. I agree. I mean, when you're running into 300 pounds and you're 220, yeah, I would think the 300 pounder comes away. Samuel with a, a little bit of concern on his face, but I mean, it is clearly Ross Von Erich who, is, yeah. who, who has been beaten and bloodied. Samuel on the outside. You see Lawler on the on the outside for Ross Von Erich. Both competitors trying to get back to their feet in this world title matchup. Our main event here on Thanksgiving Day. Beautiful drop kick, able to stagger the big man, but can't take him off his feet. There's another one. Ross off the ropes. Sling Blade takes down Jacob Fatu. Another one. Why you get, not? You got to get him off his feet. However you need to do it, that's how you do it. Picture perfect Sling Blades. And now, if I'm Ross, I'm keeping the pedal to the metal. You have to. You have to. Fatu Although, wisely going all the way across the ring. Yeah, they are a long way away from each other. Ross now. Missile drop kick connecting. But Fatu wisely rolling to the outside, realizing he's in trouble. Yeah, but look who is right near him. That's right. The former world champion, Filthy Tom Lawler. The man who Wait. Fatu beat to capture the title, but heads up for Ross. Yeah. I got a feeling he wants to fly. Ross has something crazy in mind here. Suicide dive to the outside, taking out the defending champion. And Filthy Tom Lawler trying to revive the challenger. What a main event. What a matchup. The world title on the line here in Orlando, Florida, MLW Fusion. Thank we you thank so you. Much. <laughs> you took <laughs> my thoughts exactly. There you go. <laughs> we appreciate you joining us here on this holiday. Go ahead, AJ. Thank you so much. What a special Thanksgiving it's been. And could you imagine if Ross Von Eric is able to take home the MLW Heavyweight Championship? And he's looking to do it right now with the Iron Claw. Flaw two. Going for that power bomb again. Oh, wait, Ross has the claw. Ross has the iron claw. That claw's on tight. Fatu trying to get free. And oh! over the top they go to the outside. That was the only thing Fatu had left because that claw was locked in. Yes, it was. That was on tight. The fingers digging deep into the skull of the world heavyweight champion. Both of them flying over the top rope, champion and challenger. Ross Mio whacked his head on the way down. Yeah, he does not look like he's in good shape right now. In fact, I think Fatu is going to be first to his feet. Yes, he is. Whoa, right hand to Ross. Uh-oh. Heads up. Fatu clearing some space in the front row, and Ross strewn across 
several chairs. Referee continues the count. Now he's just trying to. Oh, oh my God, a chop that sent Ross Von Eric. He's trying to get him back in the ring. Title will not change hands on a count out, so Ross has to get Fatu back into the ring if he wants to, to go home with the championship here on Thanksgiving. Well, I'm glad that the referee's actually out there between the two, trying to get this match back in the ring. Oh, no. Oh! oh! Fatu just chopped the ring post. And I don't care how tough you are. If it's flesh versus ring post, the ring post wins every time. Sounded like a home run in Omaha. Yeah, it did. Semiel right there to coach Fatu as he makes his way back up to his feet, but that hand very well could be shattered. There's oh, a no. hip check. That oh, hip check just on. dropped the referee. Well, hold on here. Oh. Suplex into the corner, referee is down. Fatu is in charge. Ross may have uh, buckled his knee. Yeah, he is really grimacing in pain and holding on to that knee. Lawler trying to check on the referee. Fatu suplex Ross. Ross can't get back up. No, he suplexed Ross into the corner of the ring. And his knee, his legs tangled up in those ropes. And now, wait a minute, Fatu's assaulting the official. What the hell's Fatu doing? Oh my God! We need help out here. We need help out here right now. What the hell? A running uh, a, a hip attack? Or? Yeah. I mean, that referee, his head snapped back in an in a ugly way. There's the elevated Samoan drop. 300 pounds into the chest cavity of Ross Von Erich. Salt into the cover. One, two. You're the one that took the referee out. I think Fatu was counting on the fact that there'd be another one out here. You see Semi, Semi, I was like, what are you doing? Well, he needs to, first of all, he needs to finish off Ross, but we, we need to get some help. We need another right, official. That can't, well, that can't happen something. until we get another official out here. I, I'm worried about Ross here with that knee. Yeah, he's on one leg. That may be the least of his worries. Heads up for Fatu! Wait a minute! I think Fatu's head hit the ring post. Fatu went for that splash. His head hit the ring post. Ross Von Eric flying Ross body. Oh, come Wait on now. Samuel's gonna tear. The referee is down. Samuel drop kick through the chair to Samuel's head. And wait a minute, filthy Tom Lawler in the ring now with the chair. And finally, Ross is gonna get a little help. Ross is finally gonna get a little help. Lawler, what oh the my hell? God! What? Come on, Tom! What the hell did we just see? See Tom Lawler. Tom, I can't believe my eyes. Tom Lawler just took Ross Von Eric's head off with that steel chair. And I don't know if you caught it on the way out. He said F Contra. And pretty clear what he said. And F the Von Eric's. Tom Lawler doesn't give a damn about anybody but Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler brought the Von Eric's here. He fought side by side with the Von Erics. They willingly said yes. We will fight with you against Contributor. The ultimate betrayal here tonight. 
Lawler has betrayed the Von Erichs. That, that filthy traitor. And on Thanksgiving of all days. Tom Lawler, you are gonna have hell to pay for this.